SDG Life. Join us, join this conversation, hashtag SDG, hashtag SDG, SDG Life. We're in the World Economic Forum 2017 annual meeting, and I'm pleased to be joined by David Navarro, Undersecretary Hello. of the United Nations Special Advisor for the 2030 Agenda, Richard Elman, CEO of Elman. So we're here to talk today about the very timely topic of rebuilding trust, which is, seems to be something that every person at the World Economic Forum this year is going to be talking about. A person like yourself is twice as trusted as a CEO or a government leader. That indicates a loss of faith. So we have thousands of people over there watching us on this SDG Live from uh, the UN. Uh, overall, our audiences normally follow us, but they probably don't know as much what are we doing in the World Economic Forum, why are we here, and why is it so important to advance the sustainable development uh, goals. So David, you, um, you, as, you know, like as the ambassador of the sustainable development goals, what do you say about those numbers? They seem to be pretty gloom. So first thing, hello everybody. And we in the United Nations have been trying to tune in to what people really want and need for a long time. And that was part of the process of developing an extraordinary thing called the Sustainable Development Goals. And these are the goals that will provide the framework for the future of people and of the planet that is fair, equitable and inclusive. And that's what we're working on right now. I'm Claudia Gonzalez from UNICEF. This is SDG Live. Send us your comments. Send us your questions. David, you've also said that the Sustainable Development Goals are, are the only plan that we have for the future and the, of the planet and its people. And you've said that we need to go and tackle the root causes of anger, which is what we've seen. We're, we're just seeing the headache, you know, yes. like the headache, but we're not tackling the cause. Do you think Davos and these participants of the annual meeting, the decision makers, are ready to tackle the cause? So the sustainable development goals are the plan. Who's the plan for? It's for people with power. Because this plan helps people with power to find a better way of using their power to influence people's lives. Look, in this World Economic Forum, we have very wealthy, very powerful people from government, from business, from civil society, from religions. And the hope that we all have is that as a result of the way we talk about sustainable development here, the powerful people will directly address the trust deficit that Richard's work has identified and really benefit the billions of people who are still not well off. We've had a report at the beginning of Davos saying that three and a half billion people collectively have less wealth than the eight richest people in the world. Now, I don't know whether that's totally true and because I'm not the expert, but it's that kind of sense of something wrong that is the undercurrent here at Davos. And we with the Sustainable Development Goals, believe that we have got a plan that addresses the trust deficit that the Edelman Group have identified. Richard? So, for me, the really important point for the people at Davos is business actually has to lead here. Government trust is so low, and business trust is actually able to move the needle because for that group of people who are not sure whether they've lost faith in the system, business is the most credible institution. And business can actually move faster. It's not a political process. I think the big lesson for CEOs is stop hiding. Stop st staying in your little tortoise shell. Get out in front and motivate your people. Talk to your employees. Get them to talk peer to peer. And do something. Change your supply chain, improve your product mix, and use your advertising dollars to change consumer behavior. Shorter showers, cold water laundry. And, you know, I just have to interrupt because it is so interesting what Richard has just said. He's saying that it's going to be business that in his view is going to be the leading sector in equitable, sustainable development. I that's, know that sounds totally contradictory. Really. I, I know that sounds totally contradictory yes. to you because I think the basic approach of civil society has been deep skepticism about the private sector. But now, business is ready to do this, and I really urge all of you in the audience to give business a chance and push them and buy the products of those companies that actually sign on to the SDGs. Send